just how to lift stones. You remember Sven won his World's Strongest Man title in Zambia on the stones, the final event, a fitting end to what was one of the highlights of the strength calendar. And indeed, one of the great moments in strength history, Sven's victory in 2001. So for Nielsen, it's the end of what was a pretty tough competition, but his four stones in 31.3 seconds gives this Scandinavian something to chase. Danny Anderson, the Swede, not as tall as Nielsen, but very explosive. This platform set at 1 meter 50. Oh, the power there, driving it up. Four stones. Well, news is he's gone ahead of Nielsen, so if he gets this, he's already in the lead, I must say, but this would take him even further into the lead. And I, 160 kilos would put enormous pressure on the others, but not today. Anderson, a tired man. Eight events in one day is phenomenally hard. Let's face it, doing three or four events is pretty tough. To Catholics, they do five events a day. And I'll tell you what, you never see them yanking up 160 kilo stones. So, Aki Karajamaki. One of the three Finns. All three of them battling it out for the top spot. Karajamaki easily up with the first few stones, very explosive, knows these stones well. I think this could be the first man to do all five. He's gonna pop number four up with ease. Not quite as tall as Hartikainen or Rantanen, but for power, this man is so explosive. There you go, 160 kilo stone. He's managed it at a body weight of under 105 kilos and this is just as impressive as a world's strongest man feat. It really is. The guys, the big fellas at 140, 150 kilos, they can do this in maybe 25 to 27 seconds, the best. But this guy, well, Katajamaki has done it in almost an equally as impressive time. Katajamaki's 48, 22. So, Compatriot Rantanen, these guys all battling it out now. It's going to be first, second, and third for the Finns. But what order is it going to be? Can he beat Katajamaki? Rantanen's time then. 31.06 he has done. And I tell you what, that almost surely books him either the silver or the gold medal. And for Katajamaki, it's going to be the bronze, that's for sure. But the question is, what can Yanni Hartikainen do? He's the last man in the competition. Darren Sadler had to drop out due to injury. That broken rib causing him too much pain to continue on. So Darren looks like he'll have to settle the fourth. This is it then, the gold medal about to be decided. And hey, the title of world's strongest man under 105 kilos. Well, the speed, look at this, he's enjoying himself now. He knows he's done it fast enough, the four, to take the medal. Only two other men have done all five, and on points, this man, Yanni Hartikainen, has definitely won the under 105 kilo class, world's strongest man, and that was a fitting end to this show. Fabulous stuff there, being congratulated by the other two Finns, Rantanen and Katajamaki, and I can give you what will be the final placings then. Your winner, Hartikainen. Second, it's gonna be Rantanen, and third, Katajamaki. The Finns in that order, and as for Darren Sadler, well, he's gonna take fourth place overall. Well, that's a real shame for Sadler. He could have really done with the points there. He could have mixed it in the final event. He's a great stone lifter, but it's not to be. There you are, the final podium, and it's Hartikainen, the victor. Danny Hartikainen, world champion now in under 105 kilogram category. Well done. How do you feel now? I feel good. That's it? Uh, and satisfied, of course. <laughs> you should be. Uh, this is the first time when, as the competition has been held. Uh, do you think that uh, the competition was a success or... I think uh, that all athletes, athletes, athletes were in very good condition, and uh, and uh, this how this all was made, uh, and these events 
me, I think it, it, this was quite white. I've heard rumors that uh, you are retiring after this competition. Don't you think that would be nice to do this again next year? I think uh, this is quite a hard job. And uh, I have uh, two kids and wife and own house. Uh, it is possible that I have hobbies at home. <laughs> yeah, I can guess. I'm hoping that you will be back next year to take the title again. Thank you very much and well done. Thank you very much. Well, that's it. He's the winner, Yanni Hartekainen, and I think very much the just winner as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it just as much as I have. I'm Colin Bryce. You can write to me at Eurosport Strongman at hotmail.com. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>